welcome those from the press and those from the board as we look forward toward a transformative future. The partnership between Zan International and Northern Caribbean University, as you heard, has been a productive partnership. When the information came to my desk as president that this relationship was developing, I had the privilege of looking into it quite seriously. At that time, I think it was about uh, two or three years old. And I saw the potential in it, but that potential has far outstripped what my vision could have seen then. There are two people in the audience that I think I ought to draw attention to, although they may resent it and they will tell me after I get, get down from here. Two professors, Professor Errol Morrison from the Na uh, National Commission for Science and Technology. Welcome, Professor. The other professor is Professor Bob Walters from Arizona State University. Welcome, Professor. I acknowledge them because of their long standing working with Zon International. Professor Morrison, as a government representative, has been from the beginning a very strong supporter in the prospects of what Zon could do not only with Northern Caribbean University, but with this nation. And through him, the government has been supporting this venture. Started with um, uh, Prime Minister Portia, Sim Portia Simpson Miller, and has continued under the new Prime Minister, Mr. Holness. And they have continued to support the, the effort of this partnership. Now, it's an unusual partnership, and I really should take a little minute or two to describe this partnership. Usually, the government partners with its own. That is, its partners with its own institutions. In this case, the government is partnering both with its own institution case, with Jamaica 4-H, and with Northern Caribbean University in this venture. And to that extent, I want to say it's a unique partnership and I want to affirm the government in progressing in this direction. As a matter of fact, I want to challenge the government as we look at funds that should be spent in the nation, etc. I am suggesting that the government ought to give serious attention to research funds, etc., that comes also to private, religious-based institutions like Northern Caribbean University. I want to point out that the relationship between Northern Caribbean University and uh, Zon International is a rich relationship, the prospects of which will transform this institution. So you'll hear more about that even as the day progresses, as you'll hear some specifics about how the, the company plans to make this a part of the tra trajectory going into the future to make that difference. But I want to also point out that agriculture is a significant part of any nation building. Any nation. If you cannot feed yourself, you will always be dependent. I don't care how intellectually solid you are. A nation must learn to feed itself. Zon is committed to providing funds to facilitate the development of agriculture in this nation, starting with Northern Caribbean University and with CASE. <laughs> Second, ZAN is committed to supporting continued research in the areas previously mentioned. And ZAN is determined to put the funds in the, where they're, you say you put your fund where your mouth is, they are determined to put the funds there in order to advance that agenda. And the third thing is, Jamaica is rich in ideas. And those of you who have been acqu acquainted with the business model competition over the last seven or eight years in Jamaica will realize <coughs> that this institution has put out some stellar people in terms of the, um, the, the, the products um, um, that they have presented in these um, um, business model competition. They have won most of them outright for the last eight years. 
And last year, is it last year or this year, Mr. President? Last year. Last year, they were number one in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, here's why I mentioned that. Because during that time, from the beginning of that competition till now, we have had several number one positions, fantastic ideas in this country, but they have not gone much further than competition. Zan is determined, and in this third phase I'm mentioning, Zan is committed and determined to put millions of dollars. When ideas like those are developed, Zan has committed itself to facilitate the advancement of those ideas to the point where the people can realize economic benefits from these good ideas. And I want to affirm the company for that. I want to make two more points before I sit down. One is that if you, if you meet the president of Zon and you talk with him, when I spoke with him the first time, here's what got me excited about Zon. He realizes where medicine was going in the world, how expensive it was. I was just sharing with my colleagues a, a few minutes about com coming here that a, a mother whose daughter is on uh, <coughs> diabetes, Prof, what do you need for diabetes? Insulin. 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 Um, went to Canada to get her insulin. She paid $1,200 for the insulin she got. That same insulin would cost $12,000 in the United States. Medicine is costly. Zon is determined that as it advances forward, it will do its best to keep medicine at a price that most people can enjoy the facility of that medicine. And the last thing I want to say is that we are all in this um, arena for the next few hours for this launch. And I want to say that it is critical that each person realize the part you can play, each one of us can play, in advancing the agenda not just of Zon, not of um, Case, not of the Jamaica 4 H, but of this nation in participating. And participating doesn't mean you cheer it and clap like I'm saying. Participating means you also sign up and make sure you get one of the canisters, cans, tins, whatever name you want to call it, get one and advance the agenda of Jamaica. Transformation is here.